Hey guys, Adam here. We're in the shop today. We're going to be doing something really freaking awesome. I've been planning this for about six months, but just haven't been able to get around to it. So if you haven't read the title yet, we're building a blooming tank today. Well, not a blooming tank, but something to hold it, something to heat it. So I've got a ton of angle light, a whole bunch of black iron pipe, and a bunch of propane fittings. And uh, we're gonna dive into it. Hopefully we can get this all done in one day. It's probably gonna end up being two videos, one for the heating element, one for the one for the stand. So why don't you join me? It's gonna be fun. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead over here to my whiteboard of amazingness so I can give you a list of everything that I use to make it, all the tools and the process that I'm gonna kind of use. So let's get after it. We're probably gonna start on the stand first today just because it's gonna require the most welding. The most time consumptuous part of the heating element is going to be drilling all the holes. And so, just to give you an idea, angle iron, a black iron pipe, yellow, let's go the other way, high pressure regulator, some drill bits, all my odds and ends, here's some of these. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm not a welder, nor am I a plumber, or a, uh, an engineer. So, this is just the process that I would use to do something that I have to do. If you gain some value out of it, that's awesome. If not, you know, drop down into the comments section below, tell me how I could make it better, leave me a like, maybe a dislike if it's really, really bad, but hey, I'm just a guy, that's all I can do. So, seeing as I'm not an incredible welder, we're going to try to make the least amount of seam welds that we could possibly make because what I could do is I could just take this angle iron, measure it to my 44 inch length of my tank, cut it six inches wide and make doubles, weld it all together, but that requires a lot of brain power and a lot of skill and a jig maybe to keep everything square and I'm just not, I don't have the time for that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it up against the tank, something like this, yellow, something like this. I'm going to mark this corner with a marker and then I'm actually going to cut this lower section at a 45 degree angle and what that'll allow me to do if I cut it on this side with a 45 degree angle oh, hello this side with a 45 degree angle and the other side with a 45 degree angle over here so make a triangle 90 degree triangle that'll allow me to bend this angle iron at a 90 degree angle and if I do that four times then I ought to be able to make a skeleton to hold this tank up. You get it cut enough, your square ought to be able to fit perfectly around that. Which means that now I only have to weld up this one seam here because it's all one piece, which is going to make life a whole lot easier. Yellow, yellow, yellow. That ought to work out real good. Let's see if the tank fits in. Just about perfect. Look at that. That is going to work out great.
You idiot. <laughs> and I caught it on camera. Okay, so I may have messed up my measurement a little bit. It's kind of difficult to record, but that's okay. When shit like that happens. You just have to keep on moving. So I undermeasured this side ever so slightly. So what I ended up doing was I just cut it off where I had originally cut it and bent it, lopped off the bottom side and put a new bend in where it was supposed to go so that my new pipe or my new piece of angle iron will run over and meet up with this flush and it'll be, it'll be fine. It's going to be just fine. Really good. It's kind of nice and snug. It's going to hold it up. I've got one more piece that I've got to cut. I just got to measure and cut it, and then we'll start welding. Okay. Good. Just a little bit of a tidbit. We're gonna start welding now. Just got done with all the framing. Um, well, most of the framing for the tank. So now I just gotta weld that together, put a center brace in. I'm gonna cut and measure after I get the frame welded together. And then we gotta put a couple stands on it. It's about this tall. When you're a shitty welder, you can be an amazing welder so long as you have a grinding wheel. glove and the only thing I have left for this top section I've got to build two or four posts that are gonna hold it up off of an old desk they're gonna go something like this I'm not gonna go perfect with this like this I think I'm gonna just go ahead and just like that my plan with stands is that I'm gonna I've, I've got a desk that this is going to bolt onto, at least the frame of a desk, the legs. I need to raise this up about six or eight inches so I'm not hunkered over every time I'm setting a rifle or something down in it. So that'll give me an overall height of about 40 inches. And the current height of the desk is about 27. So I want to raise it roughly about uh, eight or nine inches. Now that won't give me exactly 40, but it'll get me close. Quick tip for leveling steel. For this to work, you have to use something flat and something hard, something big, you know. Um, so what you can do when you're trying to level steel, right? I'm trying to make four stands right now. And this is just, this is stupid. Common sense stuff. If they're all of the same sh size and shape, you just go like that, ready? say those are four evenly sized legs eight and some odd inches a little bit bigger than uh, you know you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying okay that ought to be more than enough penetration boys Good enough for the girl. 
Hello. I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping these square to the base. But sometimes you just have to learn how to do things, you know? So what you're going to do, if you can't get these square, good luck finding a pipe that big, or one this big, you know, give it a little bit of tweak. A little bit of tweak. Is that after just the slightest little tweak, they're perfectly square. Who needs all the fancy tooling? Occasionally, whilst building things, you may find yourself in a pickle, or pretty much every time you find yourself in a pickle. I got ahead of myself, so here's what I did. I've got my beautiful desk top, desk bottom here, the legs to my desk. And I knew that I had to match the legs on the stand to the desk. Except I was more worried about getting the legs square than I was about getting them lined up with this. So we've got this kind of problem now. Here's one predicament, ready? That ain't gonna work. It's actually not gonna work at all. So, what we have to do, what I have to do, is I've gotta widen this. Luckily, I have some steel laying around. I'm just gonna, all I have to do, so the overall measurements of this is 46 and a half. This is about 44 and a half, almost 45. So I've just gotta widen this an extra two inches. So that's what we're gonna do. So here's what we need. We're gonna have to go all the way to three. Say that's three right there, yep. Yeah. Something like that. Probably more than yellow bumps. It's all right. Good. Good. We're good. Oh, that's so hard to read. Eighteen inches long. Good enough. Okay. Zippity do that, daw that off. I'm not hyper worried about how exactly this is. So we're just gonna swap all together. Here, to here, to here, or over there. And then I'm going to end up welding it to a piece of angle line that's sitting here. So, that's the point of the stuff. for the building of this is I have to cut these rails. So I need them at 18 and a half inches. So I've got one here and one up here. Okay, so stands all done. I know you guys missed it. I uh, camera died. So I'm just gonna bring you up to speed a little bit what I did. Don't mind my bubble gum welds. It doesn't matter. You matter. So I ended up putting the angle iron drilling holes in the front and the back so that I can just bolt it right to this stand. 
but if I do say so myself, that will be more than functional for what I'm going to be doing, which is in fact exactly what I was going for. And you can see, even after all the welds and the heat, ah, we still very just like that. And it's going to be perfect. So now, the next part that I got to get into is going to be whenever we make the plumbing for it. So all of our gas lines, everything like that. I'm probably going to end this video here. So this is part one. I'm going to get it done today, but I don't, I don't want you to have to watch for an hour and a half while I'm doing this. So anyway, this is the end of part one. Stop by for part two. If you like this kind of content, please like, and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching. This is the kind of stuff I do all the time. I haven't been able to post in about a week just because I've been down and out with strep. But yeah, if you like this kind of content, leave a like. If you don't, leave a dislike. Tell me why you didn't like it. And I'll try to make it better. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.